In spiritual teachings, we are guided to allow the divine purpose of the universe to unfold. But what would that divine purpose be? What does this purpose entail? The universe seeks to awaken consciousness. It's as if each moment is an opportunity to raise our consciousness and embrace the present moment fully. This dimension we inhabit, with all its beauty and complexity, is precisely where divine purpose unfolds. The divine purpose of the universe is twofold. On one hand, the universe takes delight in the act of creation itself. The vast array of life forms that surround us, from the depths of the sea to the heights of the air, is a testament to this creative force. On the other hand, the universe seeks to experience itself through these forms. It is not merely the case that we are separate entities in a vast and indifferent universe. Instead, we are interconnected, and our experiences are integral to the unfolding of the divine purpose. In the vastness of the universe, we find ourselves existing in a world that seems both familiar and foreign. We may wonder, where am I? But the truth is, we are not merely in the universe, we are the universe. We are the manifestation of the one life expressing itself through countless forms. And with every experience, the universe is gaining a deeper understanding of itself through our lives. It is truly awe-inspiring to consider the incredible complexity of life forms on this planet. Humans, in particular, have a unique way of experiencing the world, and each individual is different from the next. It's a wonder that out of the billions of people on this earth, we can recognize someone we know simply by looking at their face. This differentiation is a testament to the infinite creativity of the universe and the boundless potential of consciousness. Reflect on your place in this vast and wondrous universe and observe the interconnectedness of all things. On the surface, it may appear that we are all the same, but in reality, every life experience is unique and distinct. Each experience is like a world that emerges and fades away, leaving a lasting impression on the universe. Your parents' lives, for example, are totally different from yours, even though they live in the same house and have similar experiences. It is intriguing to contemplate how each individual's life experience is a manifestation of the universe experiencing itself through different forms. As the universe unfolds, it becomes more and more intricate, delighting in the infinite diversity of life experiences. The universe desires to explore and discover itself through the multitude of forms it creates. With every experience, it evolves and expands, moving towards greater complexity and higher levels of consciousness. It is a beautiful and awe-inspiring phenomenon, reminding us that we are all connected, and our unique life experiences contribute to the ongoing evolution of the universe. The complexity of human life has evolved greatly over time. Today's world with its bustling cities, advanced technology, and nuclear physics is vastly different from the simpler lives of our ancestors thousands of years ago. However, both these ways of life are expressions of the one consciousness that is the universe. The universe delights in this complexity and wants to become conscious of itself through us. As we awaken to our true nature, we become instruments of this divine purpose. But the universe is not satisfied with just experiencing its forms, it yearns to know its source. As we turn our gaze inward and seek the truth within, we come closer to realizing this source. We are not separate from the universe or its purpose, but rather, we are integral to it. So, 
Explore the depths of your being and discover the truth that lies within you. The universe has an ebb and flow, a constant movement outwards into creation and a return back to its essence. This divine essence is realized through the human experience, as we strive to make the most of our lives, contribute to the world, and create something meaningful. However, the true return movement is to fully embrace the present moment, to step away from the endless cycle of becoming and simply be. This requires a shift in focus from doing to being, from constantly striving for more to finding contentment in the here and now. The universe seeks to express itself through us, but also to know itself on a deeper level, to realize its own source. It is through this reflection and realization that we can truly connect with the divine purpose of the universe. The universe expresses itself through two complementary movements, an outward and a return movement. The outward movement is the expression of creativity, the desire to create new things and experiences. This drive to create is reflected in the many life forms on this planet, each with its own unique expression. In human beings, this manifests as the desire to do things, to contribute, to create, and to make something of one's life. However, there is also a return movement, a desire to go deeply into the present moment, to be still, and to connect with the essence of one's being. This movement is the expression of the universe's desire to know itself deeply, to realize its own essence through human life. While some humans are more inclined towards the outward movement, others are more inclined towards the inward movement, but both are necessary for a balanced and fulfilling life. It is not a matter of choosing one over the other. Rather, both movements need to be present in our lives to varying degrees. We need to be able to go deeply within and connect with our essence, while also expressing our creativity and making a contribution to the world. Spiritual traditions that emphasize one over the other miss the point. The goal is not to forget about the world and only focus on realizing who we are, but rather to find a balance between these two movements, to live in the world while also connecting with our true nature. In the human experience, it's essential to find a certain balance between the outward movement of creating and the inward movement of connecting with your inner being and the source of all life. It's not about being totally balanced, as very few humans achieve that. Rather, it's about having both movements within you, so that the universe can create through you without losing itself in its creations. It's about creating from a place of playful participation in the world of form and contributing to it without depending on the outcome for your egoic needs. When you become stressed or overwhelmed, it means you're losing yourself in the doing, which is not as important as being in touch with your inner being and the present moment. Remember, true fulfillment and joy come from finding the balance between doing and being, so keep striving to achieve that in your life. The essence of life is to strike a balance between being and doing. Being completely immersed in doing without taking time to connect with our inner being and the source of all life can leave us feeling uprooted and disconnected from the spaciousness and unconditioned consciousness within us. On the other hand, being solely focused on being without any expression of creativity or contribution to the world can leave us feeling unfulfilled. Some individuals are naturally inclined towards being and are referred to as frequency holders, holding the frequency of being on the planet. They find joy in doing simple things like gardening, cooking, caring for animals, and helping others in physical ways. Their emphasis is on being rather than doing, but they still recognize the importance of taking action. 
It is essential to strike a balance between being and doing to live a fulfilling life, contributing to the world while remaining connected to our inner being and the unconditioned consciousness within us. In the grand scheme of things, the universe's divine purpose is twofold, to know itself through the creation of form, and to realize the formless essence of all life. As a human being, you are an integral part of this purpose, both as a creator and as a vehicle for the realization of the formless essence. Some individuals are naturally drawn to creative action, while others are more inclined towards being and holding a frequency of presence. But, remember, it's essential to strike a balance between being and doing, allowing presence to flow into your actions, and not getting lost in the seriousness or heaviness of your creations. By doing so, you can contribute to the world in a significant way and help the universe fulfill its divine purpose. You are not just a mere spectator in this divine purpose of the universe. You are an integral part of it, and your unique contribution matters. Whether you are more drawn to being or doing, finding a balance between the two is essential to fulfill your role in this grand scheme of things. Remember that you are an expression of the universe, and it wants to realize itself through you. So, let your light shine and share your gifts with the world, whether big or small. By doing so, you will not only fulfill your own purpose but also contribute to the greater good of humanity. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Your support will help spread this message of hope and empowerment to others who may need it. Let's work together to create a world where everyone can fulfill their purpose and live a meaningful life. Thank you for watching and joining me.